Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So today, first of all, what we need to do is collect all of the grass up and put it into the pit. Because that is most likely going to be our final load of silage. Yeah, it will be. But I think we just have to do a quick pit clean first of all. There is a small amount of silage still in here. Uh, really not too much. Uh, 143 litres. So, um, actually I should be able to just keep that in the bucket because we'll be going to the cell point really soon unless we need the bucket for feeding the chickens nope they're good okay brilliant so yeah we'll keep that in the bucket for now and we will attach to our forage wagon which is just over there let's back up to it yeah the sooner we get this fermenting the better and there is rain coming so we want to get this done before the rain comes, we don't want to be picking up wet silage, like soak silage. <laughs> that would not be good. Right, so let's engage the PTO, lower the pickup, and off we go. So yeah, it doesn't take long to do this. I think it's only just over one full load. It's actually a really good forage wagon. I wish we had it earlier. Although having said that, the hay fork was good because it was low cost and it worked. Well, it worked to a certain extent. Obviously, as the pits got really full, we couldn't tip it anymore. But for a small patch of grass, it was fine. There we go, that's 70%. It is good. Probably won't be able to make it back up to the top. So no, it must be two full loads, roughly. Maybe one and a half. Okay, we did. We managed to get here. So one and a half, it must be. But either way, very good. It's about 22,000 litres. That's what it was before. Uh, we've got 13,000 here, so yeah. Yeah, it should be 9 or 10,000 litres more. Oh, <laughs> should have raised my bucket up. And let's tip. We'll get the biggest pile in the middle so it doesn't spill out as easily. Although this pit actually is really good for keeping it all contained. Go. And now let's get the rest of it. One hundred percent compacted until now when we tip the next load. But I had to level it, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to drive over it. Try and do this as evenly as possible. Okay, it's good enough. Come on, three liters. There's three liters in there. Hmm. I guess that's glitched. I think it's empty. So now we can drive over it again. We'll spin around, we'll go back over to here, and then we can cover it over. It really doesn't take too long to compact. looking good and it looks to be exactly the same amount as last time 22,000 litres 22,634 okay we're almost there is that a hundred now it is 
Okay, great. So let's let's cover it over. It's mostly contained. Actually, it's all contained because that these two bits here were here before. Um, so that'll probably take a day or so. But it's good that we have that done and out of the way. So next up, uh, we I think basically we're waiting for a field to be ready to harvest. Yeah, which won't be in this in-game day or month. So we'll probably rest now because I think everyone else is happy. The chickens are happy. The sheep are happy. Um, I will make sure they've got enough water though. We'll put this back in the shed. It probably won't be used again, but I'll keep hold of it for now. And in case you missed the previous episode, I basically bought nearly everything. <laughs> All of these machines that we have leased. I bought everything except for the combine outright. So uh, we still have to get about 20, what would it be, 25,000 roughly, including the header. 25, 26,000 pounds so that we can buy that outright. I think it's going to be for the best because then we can sell it. If we don't do that, we're just going to have nothing to make back from it. But then again, maybe, maybe we're going to make a loss anyway. So maybe that is a better thing to do. Right, so yeah, let's just attach that tanker. The rain's coming anyway, so we don't really want to be doing anything else today in the fields. Right, that's empty. Uh, as I'm going nearly, well, probably over halfway to the silage cell points to get the water, I might as well just drop off this 143 litres. I won't make about £100. <laughs> Better than nothing. First things first, water. Lovely. And now we'll continue on to the cell point and just tip this minute bucket load of silage. I think it's this one just over here. It's pretty much here, I guess. Let's see if I tip it in the right place. Ah, oh, nice. 82 pounds, oh, we didn't get a, get a hundred, oh well, 82 is still good. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go and, actually I think we'll rest first, because then they can consume more water, then we'll empty the tanker, they might take all of it. And here's the rain. I wonder when the best time is for eggs. Yeah, I don't know. Let's have a look. We don't want to miss the best time. I don't think it's now. Oh, crikey. It pretty much is. Good job I checked. We've actually missed the best time. 4,149 is the best. Oh, crikey. Isn't that where I just came from? It is. Oh, blimey. I could have put an egg pallet in the bucket. Oh, I suppose I couldn't because there's two. Um, right, well. Let's... <laughs> Let's just attach to this trailer. Oh, I could have just done both at the same time. Anyway, not to worry. I better check the time for wool again, but I think that was like May time. I've already checked it once. Yeah, April, May, so there's no point doing that. But yeah, the two egg pallets, or one main egg pallet and then a bit of extra, they can be sold right away. There's a chicken stood on its eggs. What are you doing? You're not doing that. We need to sell them. Get a bit more money. Okay, uh, let's head over there. Quick jump cut. takes a bit of time but it's a decent amount very good 6816 so now we'll rest and then we can do the water park this back over here Okay, right. Let's get rid of this rain. Hopefully it's not raining tomorrow, that would be bad. 
With a bit of luck, we'll be able to harvest. Looking promising. Well, it's a bit cloudy, but yeah, the rain has gone. Fantastic. So will they take all of this? I think they probably will do. Yep. <laughs> uh, so how much space? Good grief, that's exactly the right amount. Like, to the litre. That's unbelievable. So yeah, the chickens are fine as well. Everyone's happy. Everything's good. They're still producing their wool. What happened here? We're going to have a serious amount of wool to sell in April. Because we also have what's in here. We've, we've got three, no, four. We have four in here. So yeah, lots and lots of money's worth. So those fields, are they ready? They are. Field number well, two, five, and eight are ready. Wow. Um, I think today we'll do five, because that's the one which we put that work into, the drainage. So it'll be interesting to do that, because it won't have those wet patches anymore. I should probably take the bucket off. And actually, as it is January, it's probably going to be a really good time just to sell the crop directly off the field. I think it's a wheat crop, is it? Yeah, it's a wheat crop. So what is the price currently for wheat? It is the best time. Uh, we should be able to get around 1200 Um Oh, these, these prices are very good. Colonia especially. 1400 Wow. So that, that is great. I could have put that bucket in a better place. There we go. Much better. So just by chance I managed to pick the field which has currently got the best price for that crop type. I don't know what the other fields are, I'll have to double check. They might have wheat in them as well, but we'll be sticking in this month now for a little while. So that won't be a problem. So that's the goal for today, to sell all of the wheat that we have growing in this field. Right, so that one is canola for number eight. And for number two is canola. What's the price currently for canola? Oh, we, we've gone past the best time already. But it's only just become ripe, so there's nothing we can really do about it. So basically everything which is currently ready to harvest needs to be harvested in this month, which is going to be easily doable. We'll do the other two fields next time, and we'll do this field today. And I need to... I really need to stop putting stuff in the way. But we've made it through. We will be uh, swathing this, so we'll be able to bale it probably next time. Because obviously the other two fields won't need to be baled as they're canola. And I've read your comments. Uh, many people absolutely love this series. I just feel that it is time for a change. But we can do a new series of Vintage Survival on a similar sort of themed map, you know, this sort of area. I do like these maps, like Eastern Europe. I think it's an Eastern European map. Uh, they, they just are really nice. They're absolutely perfect for this sort of let's play. So down here, we've got the area which was really patchy, but not anymore. It's all looking really good. This was a bit of a mistake, but at least we get a bit of extra crop. <laughs> I cultivated too close to the track. It's yielding very well. And it looks like we're going to get a couple of combine loads out of it. Right, we don't need to do the bottom area, we just need to do the top really. Because we have space to turn around here. I'll go across the top twice.
nice and fast. We should be able to harvest the canola field today as well. But we're not going to sell anything, as it turns out, until the next episode, because we're going to do everything in, on the same train, uh, as it's cheaper that way. So we can put all the canola and all of the wheat into uh, the same load, basically, the same train load. Get one big lump sum of money. The wheat should all fit into the trailer. Yeah, okay. Um, so we'll let that turn around. I will go up to the top and wait for it. And then I need to basically sort out the top of the canola field so that the worker has plenty of space to manoeuvre um, and so it doesn't just basically say, I'm done, when it isn't, because that would just be annoying. Because it wants to be doing the harvesting whilst I go and unload this. Okay, right, well. I'll sort it myself. It's been a good field of wheat. Very good. Wheat field finished. On to canola. Looks like that trailer was made to measure. Okay, let's start at the top here. This is going to be a super fast field to do. <laughs> Um, but I think I do need to go probably across here maybe three or four times. So I would just keep backing up to give it space. It seems ridiculous to do it three or four times, but we know what the worker's like. It's going to see the tree or the building and just think, oh, I need enough space to turn around an aeroplane. Or a cargo ship. That would probably uh, have a, a much larger turning circle. Or would it? Yeah, it probably would. I have no idea where this is going. Right, okay. So we're pretty much there. Is that? Yeah, that's plenty of space. That should be absolutely fine. We'll just get this. And this will fill up the combine slower, so we should still be going when we get back, hopefully. It might even do the entire field on one tank load. Off it goes. And off we go. So we got 8,285 litres. It seems good. I should probably check and make sure we don't have any wheat in storage. No, we don't. Okay. Great. The small amount of barley that we have can go to the chickens. There we have the wheat. And yeah, there might be some more fields ready next month, but they will have to wait. Because we can't miss out on the best price. Yep, fair number 9 and fair number 1, so next month we're going to have, ooh, something different, sorghum. Um, so that's irrelevant anyway, because it's not one of the ones we're about to sell. But it is still the best price currently. But it isn't ready, so we'll just have to sell them as soon as possible in February. Let's get back to the combines, probably almost finished by now. How is it looking? Ah, it's got a bit confused over there. Well, I'll be doing the rest of it. Uh, why did it get so confused there, though? There's nothing there at all. How weird. It must be that tree. Still weird, though. Yeah, like, there's a tree there, so why wouldn't it do the piece nearest to the tractor? <laughs> why would it not do this? Ah, oh, dear. The worker can be odd. But, yeah, it's far from being full, so it looks like it is all going to fit in. I'll save some money. I'll do this myself. Get it all tied up. We're two-thirds full. So, yeah, it's almost guaranteed that it's going to be less than a full combine load.
this is it. So 90 something percent. Hello tree. I can see why the worker didn't go that close to you. 95? I'm going to go with 95. Okay. 93. Still, not bad. That's over 4,000 litres. So this is where we can leave it because I think, yeah, the rest of it is going to fit into the trailer from the other field. Take it in one load. Um, so we'll resume in the next episode with harvesting that one last field. Then we can sell everything. Then we can bail that field. Then we can move on to February and harvest the other fields. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.